guys asked for it. So today, let's check out this 302 swapped Z. Okay, so let me tell you a few things about this one. First of all, I can't take credit for doing this swap. The actual swap was in and running when he brought it to us. However, the people who did the swap did a really sloppy job. So a lot of what we've been doing has been making things work that didn't work before and trying to clean things up. I've done a lot of cutting out wiring and a lot of looming and we swapped all this out to keep the black and red theme the original people had sort of like uh, some chrome stuff there it didn't look very good did some changes here on this wiring to make everything work correctly we did some painting and some uh, cleanup in the front we still have a lot of work to do it's far from being done as far as under hood goes though it's getting pretty close it runs and it drives we don't have any problems as far as that goes uh, but I have to do some stuff with mounting the radiator because what's in there is not very good. You can kind of see a little bit of how they did the swap. Here they've got wired in an inline fuel pump running to a carburetor. This is a roller motor 302, but it's been converted back to carburetor for, I guess, ease of doing the swap and not having to run so much. Uh, one thing we will be doing while it's here is getting rid of these what I believe are Explorer exhaust manifolds in favor of some headers. I don't have that done yet though, that's why the car is still here. Another thing that we did was we had to redo all of the gauges because when it came in, they just hadn't wired any of it in. Obviously the Nissan gauges don't work well with the Ford stuff and with the lack of sensors. So we actually went with all aftermarket gauges as you probably saw a few minutes ago and uh all of that we made here that was all custom using uh just aluminum sheeting for the back and then just making all of that uh one more thing i do want to point out the seats in this have already been redone and if you notice the center console partially apart that's because that's another thing we're working on there's a weird issue with the shifter that we have to straighten out nothing that stops you from driving it but just something that needs to be ironed out to be correct so it actually does use a Mustang GT five-speed manual transmission. Currently it is mated to the stock Z32 rear differential. And the it just has a custom steel one-piece drive shaft that runs between the two. So that was a 302Z. Um, that's we've been working on that off and on for a while now. Um, the owner was cool with me showing it to you. So I did. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Make sure you like this video. 
I am out of here for this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. Peace.